ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಮಂದೇ ಸಹನೌಹ್ನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಣ್ವಿದಾತಿಪೂರ್ಣೇದಾಗಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಹಿಣೋತಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ತಗುಂಹದೇವಾತ್ಮಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಂ ಮುಕ್ಷುರು ವೈ ಶರಣಮಹಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಆಮನಾಯಾಂತಿಕ ಸಂಸಿಧ್ಯಮಾಧಿಮಧ್ಯಾಂತವರ್ಜಿತಮಾನಂದಘನಮಾತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿರುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ continuing with the 35th sutra the introduction says sambandha bheda uh, sorry 35th sutra sorry not the 34th sutra uh, 35th sutra nanu mukhyayo sambandha bhedo kim na syata amityata ah right so uh, yeah mukhya nanu mukhyau eva the sthana visheshat prakashadi vat has been the earlier sutra which said that <coughs> the upadi vashat sthana visheshat upadi vashat prakashadi vat there is sambandha bheda they are not vastavika now the purva pakshi says why can't the sambandha and bheda which have been mentioned they sambandha bheda vipadesha avapi na mukhyo that was mentioned in the gurutti leading to the 34th sutra having shown that they are not really mukhya in the mukhya artha only because upadhi there is a sambandha which is mentioned in the shruti there is sambandha mentioned all right with ishwara there is a sambandha of jiva in shushupti avastha there is a merging in upasana also there is a merger discussed in mukti also some consider that there is union with parameshwara so all this sambandha and bheda discussions are definitely there between jiva and parabrahma but they are not vastavika they are upadi krita bhedas now the purvapakshi says mukhya eva sambandha bhedo kim na syata why can't these be taken in their literal meaning mukhya meaning to that the siddhanti says in the 35th sutra upapattesha upapattesha because it is logically not possible logically only sambandha and bheda can be upadikruta they cannot be mukhya literally there cannot be sambandha and bheda between jiva and parmatma what is the logic there we will see in the vritti न मुख्य संबंध जीवपरयो शिशुप्त होती सो देर इज नो मुख्य संबंध बिट्वी जीव एंड परब्रह्म इन शिशुप्ति शिशुप्ति वॉज द एग्जाम्पल टेकन देर फोर जीवा हैविंग संबंध विथ परमात्मा इन शिशुप्ति इफ इट इज मुख्य वॉट वुड इट मीन इन जागृत एंड स्वप्न देर इज नो संबंध देर इज नो मर्जिंग पॉसिबल being different in shushupti avastha when the jiva enters the shushupti avastha that time there is sambandha one connects with ishwara this is what you will have to understand but then swam apito bhavati iti swarupasyo sambandhatva yapadesho upapatte he what is the upapatti what is the tenability logic shown the shruti says swam apito bhavati chandogya shashto adhyaya there is a mantra which says that in shushupti what happens swam apitah bhavati he himself becomes swam the pada swam says swarupa kathana there is no sambandha sambandha is by being oneself so raho shiravat shashti that is how the shashti prayoga is the shashti prayoga in the sense there is no shashti prayoga here the way the shashti prayoga is sambandhe shashti meaning the sambandha meaning 
is revealed with a shakti usage but in shakti also there can be no sambandha it can be swarupa kathana like raho shiraha which is called as raho shira or shakti meaning sambandha is like raho shira what is the sambandha between rahu and shira shiras of rahu when you say shiras of rahu what is the sambandha between rahu and shiras the head the head itself is rahu the rest of the body the trunk is ketu so when you say raho ho shiraha the head of rahu what does it mean it means rahu itself similarly here the sambandha swam apito bhavati swam the word swam has been used therefore swarupasya eva sambandhatva vipadesha upapatte the teaching is tenable meaning the teaching of sambandha is tenable as the kathana of swarupa itself because swampada means the swarupa it cannot mean that one is connecting with parmeshwara with real sambandha with mukhya sambandha but it is only figurative usage when you say there is a sambandha between ishwara between jiva and parmeshwara in shushupti so sambandha is has to be the figurative usage because the mantra is swam apito bhavati that is the logic used to prove that shruti is in its mukhya artha swam apito bhavati whereas everything else where sambandha is discussed in shruti or smriti all that has to be taken as figurative usage tatha bhedo api similarly what bheda also na mukhya it is not primary in the literal sense why shruti sahasra virodhat otherwise there would be contradiction with thousands of shrutis and that is the upapatti you have to use logic not to interpret the shruti when mukhyartha is possible when mukhyartha is not contradictory to any other shruti then logic has no place no mimamsa is needed but whenever there is an apparent contradiction between shruti vakyas when you take the mukhyartha then you have to do mimamsa there logic will come into play upapatti will come into play iti upapattesch contradiction with thousands of shrutis is not acceptable instead you take figurative meaning in some shrutis which discuss bheda itham setutvadin bheda hetu nirakrutya brahmano advitiyatvam hetvantarena ah this brahma is advitiya brahma ekameva advitiya brahma how so it has been established by setutva used by the puro pakshi setutva etc setutva din in this manner itham setutva din bhedu bheda hetu the setutva and other quotations which have been brought by puro pakshi are bheda hetus are hetus towards establishing bheda as per puro pakshi having countered them all nirakritya having taken all those interpretations away as faulty now brahmana advitiyam hetvantrena ah sadhayati ityartha already it has been it is sadhita it is already uh, you know uh, established across chapters and padas now this brahma has to be advitiya has to be one without the second this is shown by another hetu some kind of hetu in the next sutra tathanya pratishedha tathanya pratishedha tatha anya anya pratishedha tatha anya pratishedha is the samasa so tatha similarly tatha anya pratishedha means anyasya brahmana abrahmana va pratishedha there is no other brahma there is no other abrahma also this has been shown by negation and we have seen multiple neti 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 kind of shrutis nanya to asti drashta ityadi mantra several mantras have been quoted but now it is being shown with sutra tathanya pratisheda as to vritti saying yatha setutvadi hetubhyana vastantra pratipatti hi tatha so tatha is there you can add a yatha to make the vritti so what would the vritti be yatha setutvadi hetubhya na vastantara pratipatti hi 
प्रतिपत्ति इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग एसरटेनमेंट ऑफ वॉट अन्य वस्तु अन्य वस्तु वस्तुअरम अनदर वस्तु वसती वस्तु वॉट एक्जिस्ट इज वस्तु सो एनीथिंग सत् सद वस्तु डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म दैट वुड बी वस्तुअरम सो वस्तुअर प्रतिपत्ति नास्ती देर इज नो अदर वस्तु हाउ इवन बाय यूजिंग हेतु सच एस सेतुत्वादि इवन दि पूर्वपक्षी शोइंग सेतुत्व इत्यादि कथन इन दि श्रुति एंड टेक्स लिटरल श्रुति एज शोइंग अनदर वस्तु बिकॉज सेतु के नॉट बी यूज अदरवाइज हिल से लिटरली सेतुत्व मीन्स दैट इट्स अ ब्रिज ब्रिज कनेक्ट टू थिंग्स देर फोर देर हैज टू बी सेकेंड एंटिटी देर बाय the claim which was made as to another has to be existent has been refuted therefore the vritti can now say yatha setutvadi hetubhyah na vastvantara pratipatti even if you use such hetus there you cannot establish you the purva pakshi using the hetus such as reasoning such as setu ityadi words in the shruti you cannot establish another vastu another sad vastu similarly tatha आत्मवादस्थादि वाक्य अन्न से वस्तु प्रतिषेधा अद्वितीय ब्रह्म सिमिलरली इफ यू दि पूर्वपक्षी क्लेम्स आत्म ईज वन एंड अनात्मा इज अनदर अब्रह्म अनात्मा इज अनदर ऑल दिस प्रपंच इज यट अनदर थिंग फ्रॉम दिस ब्रह्म वस्तु इफ यू वेर टू क्लेम देन दि निगेशन इज फॉलोइंग इन दी श्रुति आत्म अदस्था पुरस्ता मंत्र आर देर मीनिंग आत्मा ब्रह्मात्मा इट से देर एवरीवेर अदस्था इज एन उपलक्षण बिलो सो अदस्था मीन बिलो पुरस्ता सो इन दि फ्रंट इन ऑन दि बैक साइड ऑन युअर लेफ्ट ऑन युअर राइट अप डाउन ऑल दीज डायरेक्शन आर गिवन एज सैम्प्लिंग्स to see that atma is all pervasive a single ekameva dvitya brahmatma is all pervasive there is nothing other than atma brahmatma ityadi vakya using such statements shruti what what does by by the statements what is shruti doing shruti is doing pratisheda of anya vastu anyasya pratishedat is anya pratishedat that is samasa de shashti tat purusha samasa अन्यस्य अन्य प्रतिषेद अन्य प्रतिषेद तस्मा अन्य प्रतिषेधा ड्यू टू रिफ्यूटेशन ऑफ अनदर निगेशन ऑफ अनदर अन्य कस्य अन्य वस्तु वसती वस्तु एनी एक्सिस्टेंट एंटिटी इज डिनाइड प्रतिषेधा बाय श्रुति अद्वितीय देर फोर व्हाट इज एस्टाब्लिश प्रतिषेधा हेतु ड्यू टू दैट हेतु पंचमी व्हाट इज प्रूवन अद्वितीय ब्रह्म देर इज नो अदर entity existent other than brahma there may be an apparent reality all right we do not deny the appearance we deny deny the existence of that entity which appears to be existent appearance of existence is there definitely just like appearance of sarpa is there in raju can be there not definitely there can be there some others can see bhuchidra division in the piece of land someone can see a stream of water in dimly lit environment avidya being there one can see rajju as sarpa bhuchidra jaladhara ityadi nanu brahmana advitiyatve katham sarvagatatvam atah now the purva pakshi questions if brahma is one without the other meaning it's a it's one brahma how do you establish this sarvagatatvam how do you say that this brahma is all pervasive atah to this the siddhanti bhagavan sutrakara says anena sarvagatatvam ayam shabdadibhyah anena sarvagatatvam ayam shabdadibhyah anena sarvagatatvam ayam shabdadibhyah so sutrakara says due to this itself anena due to this sarvagatatva means all pervasiveness due to this itself or 
बिकॉज ब्रह्मा ड्यू टू दिस मीनिंग ड्यू टू ब्रह्मा बींग अद्वितीय बाय रिफ्यूटेशन ऑफ एवरी अदर सेकेंड एंटिटी बींग शोन एज नॉट रियली एक्जिस्टेंट ब्रह्मा इज एस्टैब्लिश एज अद्वितीय सो दैट इट सेल्फ मीन्स दैट ब्रह्मा इज सर्वगत ऑल परवेजिव हाउ सो आयाम शब्दा दिव्य बिकॉज आयाम 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 शब्दा दिव्य समास इन बहुवचन एस्टाब्लिश इन दि हेतु ड्यू टू सच वर्ड्स लाइक वॉट आयाम आयाम इज showing the extent extent of brahma ayama extent so ayama extent due to the word such as extent etc what is the extent whose extent brahma extent of brahma so sutra artha is due to this very negation pratisheda of every other thing considered or apparent appearing to be existent different from brahma all that has been refuted so through that refutation brahma advitiyatvam is established and through the advitiyatv of brahma what is established what is a resultant corollary of that is brahma is sarvagata if you have any doubt refer to the shruti vakya which is ayama ityadi that is the sutra artha we look at the shruti and the meaning there in the vritti anena अनेन मीनिंग वॉट सेतुत्वादी व्यपदेश मुख्यत्व से वस्तुतर से प्रतिषेधन ब्रह्मण सर्वगत सिद्ध ब्रह्म हैविंग ऑल पर्वेजिवनेस मीनिंग ब्रह्म बींग ऑल पर्वेजिव इज एस्टाब्लिश बाय प्रतिषेध प्रतिषेध हाउ सो वस्तुतर वस्तुतर नास्ति ब्रह्म इतरत्वस्तु नास्ति दट हेज बीन सेट सेतुत्वादि व्यपदेश मुख्यत्व से प्रतिषेधन सो बाय सेइंग दैट सेतुत्व इत्यादि वर्ड्स विच आर सेतु एट्सेट्रा वर्ड्स विच हैव बीन यूज एज टीचिंग व्यपदेश इज देयर टीचिंग इज देयर इन दी श्रुति इन उपासना थिंक ऑफ दिस ब्रह्म है सेतु एट्सेट्रा और टू ड्राइव होम दी फाइनल अंडरस्टैंडिंग सम बेसिक स्टेपिंग स्टोन्स आर यूज so their setutva kathana is there so all that teaching is not in the mukhya meaning so mukhyatvasya pratishedena and what pratishedena vastuantarasya cha pratishedena and by saying what atmayivadasthat ityadi neeti neeti ityadi nanyavatosti drashta ityadi so with these mantras also vastuantarasya cha pratishedat pratishedena through such pratisheda or due to such pratisheda negation of another vastu and mukhyatva primary meaning or literal meaning of setutva ityadi by negating that sarvagatatvam brahmana siddham brahma is established as sarvagata all pervasive apratishede prasiddha setuvat brahmana asarvagatatvam prasajjet how can you say that brahma is established as sarvagata if this is the purva paksha siddhanti says if there has been no see through negation we are establishing negation of another vastu if at all there had been no negation apratishede prasiddha setuvat brahmana sarvagata asarvagatattvam prasajjet so this prasiddha setu setu is what bridge in the literal meaning bridge dam when you say if it is in the literal meaning then bridge is not limitless however big the bridge is however huge the dam is still it is limited then if brahma is seen to be in the prasiddha setu meaning in the well known bridge meaning dam meaning then what would it mean literally it would mean that brahma is literally a bridge or a dam which is limited therefore brahma is limited सो असर्वतत्व प्रसज्जेत देर यू शुड बी ऑब्जेक्टिंग नॉट टू माय एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस 
sequence of mantras says the Siddhanti to Puro Pakshi. So what you are interpreting, you the Puro Pakshi, Pakshi is interpreting the Setutva in Mukhyartha, there such objection would come in as to Brahma will become Asarvagata, meaning will become limited, will become non-pervasive. But when the Pratisheda has been done and Prasiddha Setu meaning, literal meaning has been discounted, discarded, set aside, then Brahma will be established as non, as not Asarvagata, meaning Sarvagata, double negation. Therefore, Brahma is established as Sarvagata. Kasmat Punaha Sarvagata Due to what reason will you land on all pervasiveness of Brahma as the Puro Pakshi? To that, question when the logic is not clear the way it is explained because one can say further object as to what just because asarvagatvam is not possible how do you land on sarvagatvam someone may ask it seems logical okay if literally brahma would mean a setu then there would be limitedness i agree this can be the puropakshi statement of agreement as to apratishede prasiddha setuvat brahmana asarvagatattvam prasajjecha in the literal meaning which is not discarded in the primary meaning literal meaning of brahma setu there would be limitedness of brahma i agree says the puro pakshi but because you have done pratisheda of that literal meaning wouldn't mean by itself all by itself that brahma will become sarvagatat Brahma is a bridge, first statement. Brahma is literally a bridge, like a bridge, like a dam or is a dam. In such meaning what will you get? Therefore, Brahma is limited like a bridge. Bridge is limited, dam is limited, so Brahma is also limited. This he agrees with. Now we say that okay, it is not in the literal meaning, meaning Brahma is not a bridge or Brahma is not a dam. Some simile is there, has been mentioned. How does that prove that Brahma is limitless? Need not be limitless. So that can be the logical question there. Kasmat punaha sarvagatattvam. How do you land on this limitlessness of Brahma just by negating what? Negating just the setu meaning in Mukhyartha. In literal sense, it is not a setu. Brahma is not a setu. All right. How does it prove? Sarvagatattvam. Therefore, Shrutis are to be quoted to that. Bhagavan Sutrakar has said Ayama Shabda Adibya. Ayama Shabda Adibya. What does it mean? Bhagavan Sadashi Brahmendra says Ayama Shabda Vyapakatto Vachakaha. This Ayama Shabda is itself in the sense of Vyapakatvam pervasiveness. Akashat Sarvagatascha Nityaha Ityadi Shabda. Adi Shabdena Nitya Sarvagata Stanuhu Ityadi Uktaha. So, this Ayama, any word in the meaning of Ayama, how expansive is Brahma? In fact, the word Brahma itself is from Bruhi Vriddha. Vriddhi is the Artha of Bru Shabda from which Brahma Shabda is derived with Manin Pratya. Unadi Manin Pratya. So, Brahma which is not qualified by anything. There is no Visheshana to limit. Here uh, I, I may have discussed it earlier, if not in this Brahma Sutra Patha, in some other Patha earlier that we have gone through, but it is good to revisit this. It is a good example to think over when you look at a gold bangle, which is the adjective, which is the substantive in gold bangle. Someone says, you know, I bought my daughter some gold bangles, which is the substantive. Bangle is seen as substantive. Gold is what? Golden. Golden bangle, gold bangle. Gold seems to be, seems to be. It is not really so. In the English language or in any language, the way the sentence construct is, it seems to be that gold is an adjective to bangle. But if you think, really think what is substantive, 
substantive which is a substance bangle is not a substance gold is a substance unfortunately the language in such is has grown in such a manner that we have lost insight of what is substantive it's a grammatical construct grammatical word substantive but substantive means made out of substance where is this substance in bangle substance is gold how can gold be an adjective so it seems that gold the adjective is used to differentiate the bangle from the silver bangle but it stands separated by the material substance silver and gold itself why do you need a need an adjective to separate actually if you look at it in reality gold and silver are substances therefore in gold bangle silver bangle bangle will be the shape of that gold or silver which is substance so the substantive should be really gold or silver whereas bangle should be seen as adjective visheshana so you should be understanding when you say gold bangle really it means is that bangle shaped gold it is really that this is vedanta so when you look at extend this example and look at what is brahma bruhi vriddho so now take the vriddhi example vriddhi means to grow and when you say brahma it would mean that which is growing or grown in any any kind of a bhave karmani vitpatti you derive and use some meaning so if you say something which is big in that me huge massive this kind of meaning you'll get for brahma expansive now when you say brahma means expansive or huge now you use that in a sentence in any sentence how do you say big big table big mountain big creature so let's say big creature a simple big creature if it is a big creature which is the adjective which is a substantive creature will be seen as substantive big will be seen as what big will be seen as adjective so far so good however when you tell someone let's say chaitra tells maitra that there is a big creature i saw on my trip to the forest what which creature obviously we'll ask which creature so maitra asks which creature did you see to chaitra chaitra says if he says big elephant then you have a different idea if you say big ant then you have a different idea so the bigness which you think it is there in the creature is now shaped differently when you say big elephant versus big ant big mountain all this when you use the bigness which is qualifying the mountain elephant or ant there is a difference now imagine chaitra is showing the showing maitra an ant and says look at this big ant and then he shows another elephant and says look at this big elephant where is maitra going to look maitra is not going to look and see at the same place try to see such an object which is same in the ant and elephant there will be a difference when you are standing when both of chaitra and maitra are standing and chaitra says look at the big ant You, one will look at the floor down look down still it will be big same big word is seen differently when it is with ant maitra looks down and when chaitra says look at that big elephant then he looks up why the word big is different there understanding of bigness is different and that bigness becomes the adjective there now use this in the example of bruhi vriddho brahma when you look at brahma the word brahma and see it in the sense of the earlier sentences 
बिग एलिफेंट बिग एंड एंड देन गो टू द क्रीचर एग्जाम्पल बिग क्रीचर सो विच क्रीचर आई डो नॉट नो चैत्रा से आई डो नॉट नो विच क्रीचर आई सॉ बिग क्रीचर देन मैत्रा आस हिम ओ डिड यू सी एन एलिफेंट एलिफेंट लाइक बिग क्रीचर और डिड यू सी वॉज द क्रीचर एलिफेंट लाइक बिग और वॉज इट एंट लाइक बिग एंट इज नॉट बिग एंट इज स्मॉल बट दिस एंट दैट इज शोइंग कंपेयर टू अदर एंट दिस एंट इज बिग देर फोर यू कॉल इट एज अ बिग एंट चैत्रा कॉल्ड इट एज अ बिग एंट एंड कंपेयर टू अदर एलिफेंट दिस एलिफेंट इज इवन बिगर देर फोर ई सेट बिग एलिफेंट Now the same word he has used in this terms of creature when he went to the forest or somewhere and he said I saw a big creature. So the now Maitra asks him, did you see that creature? Was this creature this the way you are pointing this ant to be big? Is it ant big or is it elephant big? Now the adjective and substances uh, substantives have become reverse. the adjective is no longer big it is elephant and the ant so he asks whether it is elephant big creature or is is the creature elephant big meaning elephant sized sized bigness or do you mean ant sized bigness which ant size this ant size or you can if the ant may be a little confusing example we'll say mountain or a hill or a hillock or something so is it hill is bigger than the elephant so he asked was it you know hill sized bigness or was it elephant sized bigness what kind of creature did you see what kind of bigness did you identify so with this we can understand that big is no longer an adjective it need not be an adjective where you see in vritti so brahma is that substance substantive everywhere where there is a qualification by different upadhis or visheshanas where by there is adjectival limitation without that adjectival limitation brahma in its own meaning without any limitation is all pervasive because there is nothing to limit the bigness so you can ask this brahma is it elephant big is it mountain big is it himalayan mountain big everest big how big is it no qualification by shruti shruti discounts all qualifications it says that it is bigger than the big and subtler than the subtlest so whatever we imagine as big it is beyond that atyatishtad dashangulam that purusha parabrahma whatever you can imagine he will always be 10 fingers size beyond that dasha angula 10 fingers beyond that so if you say any kind of a measure we can think of always 10 fingers beyond 10 is it is just a way of saying 10 1 it can be one finger also still beyond that means what no, no imagination will suit the bigness of brahma expansiveness of brahma so that the brahma word itself is in the meaning of without any visheshana without any limitation it is always in the limitless meaning so brahma means what limitless so ayama shabda vyapakatva vachaka the ayama the limit of brahma wherever it is discussed it is already vyapakatva vachaka it is already talking about expansiveness of brahma and what are the samples given there in the vritti akashav sarvagatascha nityah akashav like the space like the space but beyond space also really where all do you know that there is space there is a space here itself in this loka and we have this uh, space travel which is being considered by many a nation today landing on the moon sending uh, you know uh, gaganayana coming up next so gagana is space so going in space how expansive is space <laughs> no scientist knows the limit beyond that means what brahma is beyond that akasha why because akasha has come from brahma tasmad vai tasmad 
Atman ha, Akasha Sambhut ha. So Akasha is born of Brahma. Brahma has to be more expansive than Akasha. And Purnavada Purnamidam. Purnat Purnavadu so Purnavada Chati. Purna remains even after you take Purna from Purna. Meaning infinity minus infinity is still infinity. That is the understanding of infinity which cannot be understood really. Mathematically also cannot be understood. There was a mathematician who it's it is said that he came very close to understanding infinity. Somewhere I had read this. Uh, he thought that he is about to understand uh, infinity mathematically and present it, but then somehow he went ahead and tried to make infinity raise to infinity, trying to understand that, and actually he went mad. He went mad. He there was no recovery from that. Cannot be understood. Human mind, which is limited, and uh, can be you know the fastest that there is, but still, the mind cannot cognize what limitlessness is. So that infinity cannot be known. It cannot be objectified because it is the very swarup of the objectifier. आया में शब्दा व्यापकत्व आचक हा आकाश वत सर्वगता लाइक आकाश नॉट आकाश आल्सो विद ऑल दी अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वी हैव स्प्रेड अराउंड दी मॉडर्न इरा विद ऑल दी ब्रेन्स वर्किंग ऑन इट स्टिल इफ यू पुट ऑल ऑफ देम टुगेदर नो वन अंडरस्टैंड्स आकाश आ कंपलीटली देन व्हाट टू टॉक अबाउट आकाश वत सर्वगता so that which is sarvagata like akasha ayama shabda sarvagatatvam is ayama shabda it talks about expanse of brahma and nitya this is not something that will go away in pralaya also that nitya ityadi shabda that is the ayama shabda talking about expanse ayama it is not ayama iti shabda it is ayama shabda means the word which talks about expansiveness of brahma That itself is व्यापकत्तो आचक इट इट इस टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्सपांस एस सर्वगता लाइक आकाशा नित्या सुख सर्वगता मींस अवेलेबल एवरीवेयर ऑल परिवेशी एंड नित्या शोज़ द कालता आल्सो अवेलेबल एट ऑल टाइम्स ऑल परिवेशी मीन काला आल्सो नॉट ओनली इन स्पेस आदि शब्द देना नित्य सर्वगता स्थानों इत्यादि उक्त हा एंड आदि वर्ड इत्यादि शब्द व्हाट अदर वर्ड्स आर देर टू शो वर्ड द आयाम शो आयाम ऑफ ब्रह्म नित्य हा सर्वगता स्थानों हूँ सो द स्थानों इम्मोवेबल ब्रह्म हा डज नॉट हैव टू गो एनीवेर एल्स टू बी प्रेजेंट देर लाइक स्थानों और इम्मोवेबल it may be misplaced all right but a huge tree will not be uprooted also but is it available everywhere it is not it is available only as much as it is its hugeness with the leaves etc branches leaves etc permit so this brahma is like that stanu it is fixed in one place what is that place everywhere it is fixed everywhere it is not moving and making itself every available everywhere like vayu has to move it is not like that akasha does not have to move similarly brahma does not have to move anywhere it is there everywhere this is the exact reason why anything that is pointed out at a great distance also we cognize because atma is already there chaitanya is already there what has to be known mana also is already actually antakaran also has quite a pervasive presence indriyas go out and chaitanya being there everywhere the indriya just has to connect with the vishaya antakarana vritti has to form and thereby one cognizes anything at a great distance immediately so the scientific explanation of the light takes so so many whatever light years to travel all that is not needed when you look at surya you see the surya If the scientist says that you are seeing the Surya Prakasha here, which has reached your eyes, that is not the Vedanta Prakriya. You open your eyes, you see Surya. Now, if the scientist claims that this is what whatever billions of year old Surya, we don't care for it. 
इन प्रत्यक्ष वी हैव एब्सोल्युटली नो कंफर्मेशन विथ वॉट एवर साइंटिफिक फॉर्मुलाज दे आर यूजिंग वी हैव एब्सोल्युटली नो कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ ओनली द राइट लाइट दैट इज बिलियन ईयर वॉट एवर ईयर्स ओल्ड बिकॉज इट टेक्स सो मेनी लाइट ईयर्स फॉर इट टू रीच देर फोर द सूर्या दैट यू आर सींग इज थ्रू द प्रकाशा दैट यू आर सींग एंड दैट इज सो ओल्ड प्रकाशा सूर्या मे और मे नॉट बी देर समे यू लुक एट इट सूर्या मे और मे नॉट बी देर दिस इज वॉट द साइंटिस्ट वुड से इन वेदांत प्रक्रिया इफ द सूर्या इज नॉट देर विल स्टॉप स्टॉप सींग सूर्या बिकॉज वी आर सींग सूर्या सूर्या इज देर it appears to rise from the east and set in the west that appearance we can discount for but surya itself being present in pratyaksha cannot be discounted so even our shastra says that jyotish shastra says that surya is sthira but no one says that surya is some you know unimaginable number of years old mind can't even think about that kind of a number in years for many religions you know their uh, the world is uh, universe is 5000 years old so all that is ridiculous to us pratyaksha pramana is only pramana for surya being seen anumana can be used saying that for east and west uh, rising is an appearance but it is not true but surya being pratyaksha cannot be discounted by anumana that you are seeing an old light because vedanta prakriya does not agree with the eyes re- uh, the light reaching the eyes we talk about the indriya chakshur indriya reaching the vishaya so atma is chaitanya swarupa which is present everywhere so upasana will also work in that manner as to purusha who is in the surya mandala and in my chakshur indriya is one purusha chaitanya is one sat tattva is one so we using that prakriya if you look at it we know that chaitanya is sarvagata adi shabdena nitya sarvagata sthanu so even being sthanu is sarvagata so immovable but everywhere present everywhere just because i know if i understand the vedanta paribhasha prakriya then i know that or in vedanta in tattva bodha also all this is discussed so basic vedanta grantha tells us that how they ghatapatadi vision takes place how does the indriya function chakshur indriya shrotra indriya goes out we do not agree that the sound waves reach the ear tarkika talk about sound sound waves scientists talk about sound waves we do not agree with that we say that the indriyas go out chakshur indriya and shrotra indriya goes out rasana indriya ghrana indriya and twaga indriya does not travel this is the vedanta prakriya whether it is right or not it is irrelevant why because everything is a vision in vedanta it is all kalpita so we don't care with a kalpita prakriya in vedanta as per the shruti contradicting scientists we don't care why because scientists scientific prakriya with all their proof also is what it will be only vyavaharika and it is all a hypothesis so all that contradiction between something kalpita and between something which is an hypothesis is is also kalpita contradiction so we don't really care for anything other than stepping stones all of these being stepping stones to lead to atma considering the scientific pr- prakriya one can never reach the atma our goal is to reach the understanding of atma which is possible only through vedanta therefore prakriya contradictions do not matter to us because all prakriyas are only prakriyas they have no tatparya in the prakriya itself specifically mentioning this because i know of people who have tried to make samanvaya between vedanta paribhasha and uh, science and then saying that okay we have more data from science now therefore we should change vedanta who oh, please don't change vedanta it will lead to scientific goals it will not lead to vedantic goals vedantic goals are clear we have 
anavachinna sampradaya from Ishwara, whereby in sampradaya acharyas have got mukti by this prakriya. You change the prakriya, there is no guarantee that you will get mukti. Why would you need to follow scientific process which is where they don't have anything called as uh, mukti there. They don't know what consciousness is. They think it is a byproduct. How will anyone reach that? So with the tarka used in the shastra, you can never reach consciousness if it is a product. You cannot never reach, you can never become consciousness if it is a product. So scientific process is not leading there. It is foolish to change Vedanta and try to be politically correct, scientifically correct. Our goals are different. If the goals are same, I agree that there has to be some common platform to discuss. There are many a person who has tried to say that Vedanta and the modern physics, you know, uh, theoretical physics is all uh, same. If it is not same, it will never be same, let alone being same. Subatomic particles, bosons, all these are these are leading to the same uh, thing that Vedanta has already talked about, and they even uh, uh, you know ca called uh, Swami Vivekananda ji as uh, as a modern scientist. All this is a Western process. We should not take uh, all that to heart, saying that oh, it is all you know uh, a glory. It is all a uh, feel good, but it is not going to lead to mukti. Therefore, we should stick to our processes. Nitya Sarvagata Stanu. This Stanu, Chaitanya being everywhere Sarvagataha, but still remains a Stanu, and being a Stanu also it is Sarvagata. Available everywhere, Nitya, Kalata also. Ityadi Ukta. These statements are also called Tasmad Advitiasya Brahmana Avidyakam Sarvamadaya Shruti Smriti Bhyam Sarvagatatum Siddham. Therefore, this Adikarana is closed by saying Tasmad, therefore, Advitya Brahma has avidyaka sarvamadaya this sarvagatatva is also uh, siddha by avidyaka meaning there is no deshakala to talk about so the deshakala also which is saying sarva is an imagination in desha sarva deshaha all places what all places there is no other place so Brahma is available in all places, has a basic axiom that there is something called as basic acceptance, be it as an axiom that there is something called as Sarva, all places. There is something called as a place, then you say all places. You qualify that, that say which place, all places. There is something accepted as an axiom or by some kind of a an earlier analysis as to time has to be there. Kala is also imagined in Shastra. So time and space have been accepted beforehand and then the Shruti says, it paraphrases, it's uh, not paraphrases, it makes an anuvada. It says that, okay, you think that there is place and time, therefore the question comes in as to where is Brahma in some place, in which time. All this question comes up, therefore Shruti says, oh, Sarvagataha, Nityaha, it is there in all places, all times. So the Maya Kruta, Avidyaka means Maya Kruta. Kala Desha Kala is Maya Krita, therefore Sarva will also be what? Maya Krita only. When you say places, in which place? Place is imagined, time is imagined, time and space are imagined, then you say in all spaces, all places and all times. At all times Brahma is available. That all is what? Qualification of time and place, space, therefore all is also imagined. So Sarva Madaya, taking Sarva, as what as basically accepted qualification for desha and kala which is avidyaka which is maya krita it is jan, jan, maya janita ityartha so avidyaka maya janitam brahmanaha sarva madaya <laughs> brahma advitiya brahma is available everywhere what everywhere in every time everywhere that everywhere desha and kala is imagined qualification sarvam will also be imagined and having accepted that adaya levanta pada Adaya Shruti Smriti Bhyam Sarvagatattvam Siddham Taking that as already accepted terms in Loka, Vyavahara Shruti Smriti establishes Sarvagatattvam The purpose is not to say that Brahma is available in all places and all time There are no places and time Once Neti Neti is done with Akasha also refuted Kala also refuted Then what remains is Shuddha Brahma How can it be called as Sarvagata? 
this just reminds me i'll just take another minute to, i already delayed but uh, i'll forget later so somebody was asking questions uh, over and over uh, as to quoting uh, some shloka i don't remember where the shloka was from but it says brahma is dvaita varjitam advaita varjitam cha dvaita dvaita varjitam so the question was this dvaita varjita is all right bereft, bereft of dvaita free from dvaita but why is it said bereft from advaita because advaita is what dvaitam na vidyate yatra yasmin tad advaitam so brahma is that in which advaita is not there therefore how can you say it is not advaita also but shloka says we have to make sense out of it so dvaita having see advaita is a term used to refute dvaita just like when you say brahma is this prapancha is brahma then we think prapancha is karya therefore brahma is karya then the shruti says no nati na iti na iti does not stop at single na iti it says brahma is not karya prapancha is brahma not separate from brahma it does not have any existence separate from brahma therefore brahma is not a karya then karanatva is prapta therefore second na no, iti it is not even a karana when you say prapancha is not really there then how can brahma be karana just like when sakshya is not there how brahma can be called as sakshi also when subject and object division is there then you differentiate the subject from the object saying that brahma is not a not an object then it is a subject oh not even a subject then you say oh it's a witness yes it is a witness but the witness everything which is witness is taken out as mithya then how can you call it as a witness witness to what akanksha is there therefore na iti na iti similarly when you say uh, advaita it is to say it is not dvaita once dvaita is taken away as mithya then advaita shabda cannot be used but if you claim that it has to be explained then it can be explained another way with another vigra vakya instead of saying advaitam na vidyate asya you can say that nanj a in advaita nanj is not in the abhavartha it is in the virodhartha nanj has six types of meanings so out of the shadvidhartha you can take virodhartha and say dvaita virodhi advaitam with that you can say that which is opposed to dvaita is advaita and advaita vivarjita can be said in samsara dasha also brahma is advaita varjita why because it is not dvaita virodhi the duality brahma is not opposed to duality brahma which is chaitanya that brahma chaitanya is not opposed to jada padartha it lights up in fact it helps see the jada padartha help, help cognize and perceive hear touch taste therefore brahma is not opposed to it vrutyatmaka advaita brahmakara vrutti is opposed to avidya dvaita it is not brahma which is shuddha chaitanya jnana which is opposed but vrutyatmaka jnana is opposed therefore shuddha brahma is not opposed to dvaita otherwise prapancha itself will not be possible so with this understanding you have to see that sarva shabda is also used all words including the word brahma itself is used in the samsara dasha in mukti there is no vagindra ityadi there is no possibility of using any word so dvaita varjita advaita varjita also similarly advitiya se brahmana avidyakam sarvam adaya shruti smriti byam sarvagatatvam siddham we look at the phaladi karana in the next part आमनायंतिक संसिद्ध आदिमध्यांतवर्जित आनंद घन महापूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे नमस्ते धन्यवाद